Hold it. She's half man, half woman. It's Gary. I wanna hip you to the T. It's Gary, baby. All right, I'm up and ready now, boy. I heard Tony Braxton, man. What up, Gary? Good morning, Ricky. Good morning, America. Good morning to you. It's Tuesday, a beautiful day in the neighborhood. And here's what's happening in celebrity news, y'all. They're saying that he got himself a black queen. Who am I talking about? LeBron James, y'all. They're saying that fans are eating up, honey, Miss Savannah James's new look. Now, Savannah, y'all, she broke the internet, y'all, with several beautiful looks on in the last few months. And now they're saying she's serving up another grown and sexy vibe on her Instagram. Now, Miss Savannah, y'all, she um, was spotted wearing a beautiful black suit dress with fur added to the bottom and on the ends of both sleeves. Now, they're saying her hair was dyed a beautiful ginger-colored curled and was at about medium length falling just below her shoulders. Now, they said the black dress stopped around her mid-thigh with a pair of black strap-up heels added to complete this beautiful look that she was wearing. Now, they're saying the dress was from the, um, the collection of 16 Arlington, and they say it only cost her $1,800, and they're saying the heels were from Jen Vito's Rossi. Now, it looked amazing. They said LeBron loved his wife so much and ate it up so much. He said, quote, he put in the um, caption, he said, baby, when I woke up this morning and you walked down those stairs, he said, I said to myself, damn, that's mine. Simply beautiful queen. Yes. Isn't I love that, that nice? I love that. You know, LeBron and Savannah, you know, people don't give them enough, enough credit. They've been together since high school. We don't hear about scandals and cheating rumors with LeBron James. They got a nice family unit. I just love that family all together. I think it's so beautiful. Yeah. So beautiful. Well, yeah. Maria, you don't have to cheat when your woman is Savannah. I mean, good God, the lady is drop dead gorgeous. Excuse me? It don't matter who she is, honey, they're going to cheat. Your woman is Khloe Kardashian and they cheat. So, you yeah, know. but see, uh, Savannah was there when he was shooting in the gym. So she been there since forever and she look good and she's the mother of his kids. Oh, no, he's not going nowhere. Honey, good luck to them. But they do look amazing together, and I love Savannah, honey. She does seem like a nice, sweet young lady, honey. And, you know, she's standing by her man, and hopefully and prayerfully, he continue to stand by her, y'all, because, you know, right now, standing by one another is not always the best thing, but they're standing by each other. So congratulations to, to Sabron. Sabron. <laughs> LeBron. <laughs> LeBron, honey, and um, Savannah, honey, because they, they're a happy couple, y'all. All right, moving on in other celebrities. Have y'all heard um, – Tina um, knows this um, talk show yet. Have anybody tuned in yet? What? Yeah, she got a talk show. Yeah, it's coming out, honey, on um, on the internet and what have you. Now, they're saying that she got her grandkids, y'all. They're going to be singing on the opening song with her, and it's going to be talks with Tina, y'all, and everybody's excited about it. But I'm waiting to see, honey, um, if um, Solange is going to be on the show. You know, I st- I've said this one before, and it just kind of bothered me a little bit how, you know, most of the time with Miss Tina, it's mostly with um, Beyonce and her kids, and I just, I don't know why, I just feel a certain kind of way. Um, about Solange. I think they all should, you know, kind of be together and whatever, but it's mostly, you know, be you honest. Think I don't think you Solange, don't see enough yeah. of Solange. Yeah, you need to see more. I don't think she more. wants a spotlight like that. I don't think she wants, she seems like, you know, a little bit more private and reserved. She getting her checks from all of the songs that she's written. You know, she's like the earthy rebel. So, I can see why she's probably not as public with her yeah. as she is with Beyonce. Yeah, but uh, it just don't look right. It looks like she's being deprived or something. But that's just me, honey. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I just think that she should oh, put no. it all she on Oh, no. She loves her, so. her kids equally. I'm sure. That's what they all say, honey. But one always do a little bit more than the other one. Just my a mom, little bit, Gary. Just a little <laughs> bit. Yeah, a little bit. going to keep it real. Because my mom said, we ain't building no bridges over none of y'all heads, honey. Okay. All right, moving on in my final story, y'all, Wendy Williams. Y'all, let's continue to pray for Wendy. Y'all don't know if y'all heard the shocking news, but her staff is saying, y'all, that she, they think that she's not going to be returning. Now, they're saying that the production staff of the Wendy Williams um, show have become gravely concerned, y'all, that the daytime talk show queen will never return to her show. Now, according to the Sun, they're saying that um, while Wendy, you know, helped sabbatical, they said she hasn't been talking to anybody, not producers, not senior producers, not anybody. And they're saying that she has disappeared and at the only point of contact for production staff is through her manager. Now, they're saying her manager, you know, is a, a former police officer. And they're saying well, they're glad to bet, you know, because, you know, he's speaking to him and helping him out or whatever. But they're saying, you know, Wendy had her divorce. They said, you know, she went through grave disease, a thyroid condition, a breakthrough case of the coronavirus, alcohol and drug addiction, and a mental breakdown. And they're saying, y'all, that her staff now is finding solace in the fact that Williams' manager is a former police officer who is good. And what he does, and they're saying her manager is ex cop, and they say, but he's not policing her. He cannot control her and tell her what to do or whatever. But people are saying that she may not be coming back. Do y'all think she's going to come back? Because I love Wendy. I, I just I hope that doesn't I don't happen. think she should. I don't think she should. 
I think that she needs no. to rest and retire on a high note. I, I think that if she comes back, she, it's, it's probably not going to be the same. Like, who knows what's going on in the background? It has to be serious, yeah. you know? And it just, I think it's going to be a stretch for her. I hope it's not. Um, yeah. But based off of what everybody is saying, it, it seems like it's really serious. And maybe she should just fall back and, you know, enjoy, you know, the rest of her life, you know? What Take you her think, money Rick? and find some peace. Yeah, I'm, I'm sitting up here thinking maybe, uh, you know, go, uh, you know, you can always go back to your roots, go back to, uh, you know, go back to radio. But I really mm -hmm. hate it for her. But I really hope she get it, get it together because she she should be on TV. Her show is successful. Yeah. And uh, you know, interviewing people and 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 everybody look for what's the part of the show when she uh comes out on and sit in the chair. Hot topics. Hot yeah, hot topic. That's like yeah. my like one like everybody's favorite. And I mean, uh, yeah. Brad, we we would sit there. And uh, be getting ready to do Dish Nation, and we yeah. would have it on the Wendy Williams show every single morning. Uh, you know, so I I, I don't I think know what she else. over it, Rick. I think she over the show, over the people, over the people that work for. I think she gonna I produce agree, movies and produce yeah. TV shows and Lifetime specials. Now that would and be stuff good. Like that. Yeah, yeah I if think she that's went if she, she went in, uh, uh, in, into producing shows uh -huh. or whatever without doing what we call the heavy lifting. That right. would really, really be good for her, you know. So when you can sit back and make the money, and you don't have to be out there with all that pressure. That's that's good. That would be good for her uh, for now because she's been in the industry a long time, and I'm sure she's tired. All right. Well, the color today, honey, is one of my favorite colors. My color today is syrup. On the high end, you say syrup, and on the low end, you say beautiful amber. That's your color for today. All right, y'all, give it up for Gary with the tea. <laughs>